How you doing, guys? You know, you go through your entire lifetime, most of the people you know are simply acquaintances. A very small percentage of those people you can actually consider friends. And it's nice to have them. It doesn't always work out the way you'd like to think, because there are times where a friend can kind of overstep their boundaries. Particularly if you spot something. Suppose you have a good friend. They get involved with somebody. They're obviously getting emotionally attached, but there's just something not right. Just your gut tells you this is not a good person. So what do you decide to do? You do want to tell your friend, get away, but you don't know how to do it. <clears throat> and most of the time, the best way to do it is very directly. So what do you do? You let enough time go by, you've heard enough to where you can't listen anymore. So you warn your friend. You tell your friend what you believe and what the problem is. Your friend gets angry. What do you do? Are they in denial? They just cuss me out. So what do you do? Absolutely nothing. You've already voiced your opinion. Leave it as is. The problem is most people don't. See, they leave it and then it comes up again somewhere else down the line. Only this time, your friend goes to their defense and gets very hostile, says some things to you that really hurt your feelings, and you're thinking, they just took that person's side over me. Well, not really. Don't forget you did mention this before. You brought it up a second or possibly a third time, and this person you pushed against the corner, and they retaliated. So what should you have done? You know, when somebody's emotionally involved with somebody, it's very touchy, it's very touchy ground. If you feel the need to mention something, do so once. Because the thing is, you're not going to beat it into somebody's head by bringing it up day after day after day after day. You look at the person, you, say, you, you want your friend to get away from this person, but they're going to do it on their time not yours. The problem with things like that is when you try and chase somebody away too soon, that other person will always have what if, what if, what if, and in time they eventually go right back to that person. Unfortunately, people not only get emotionally attached to other people, they can get emotionally attached to organizations as well, and I'm talking about Watchtower. We all know those Jehovah's Witnesses that are so emotionally attached to that organization that they, they just, you cannot peel them away from it. You try to warn them, you do your damnedest to try and get your family and friends out, but they don't want to hear it. They get hostile. You're the enemy. See, now, now the thing with me, I was never emotionally attached to the organization. To me, it was just an organization. I heard a lot of things about it over the years, and. Most of it went in one ear and out the other. When I was studying, I was tight with a few of my neighbors. They knew I was studying with the JWs and, well, it was obvious by the looks on their face they didn't like it, but for the most part they kept quiet for a while. As time went on, they brought it up. They kept telling me these god-awful things about the organization. The problem was, they didn't have their facts right. Even by what I know today, I can tell you then that they did not have their facts right. And when you don't have your facts right, you're obviously wrong. So that's something you've got to be very careful of. If you've got your facts wrong and you're trying to warn somebody, because you could push them right the opposite direction. Well, I didn't listen, obviously. I stayed with the organization and I got baptized. Over the years, I found out some facts. You know, when I was starting to fade, I knew I wanted out of the organization. Now, this was before I knew about the child abuse problem, even. I was still hearing bad things about the organization. Still, people had their facts wrong, and I came to their defense, the defense of the organization, even though I did want out. Now, once I found out about the child abuse problem, and all of a sudden, all this info just poured into my lap about it. The defense of the organization stopped. 
Now, as I was fading, I tried to warn others. Now, I was starting to see things about the organization, and I was assuming that other JWs were seeing the very same thing. And I'm thinking to myself, how could they not be seeing this? Well, they weren't. Well, they were, but they chose not to. The thing is, when you're trying to get your JW family and friends out, chances are they already know what's going on with the organization. They just choose not to see it or talk about it. You got to consider one thing. If somebody is emotionally attached to something or someone, they may have their reasons for still being there. Reasons that they don't want to tell you, even though they may be your friends, keep in mind, you're not entitled to information that they choose not to share with you. So even that is if you've got a friend that's going with somebody you think is undesirable or they belong to an undesirable organization, they leave in their good time. Like I said, there may be extenuating circumstances to why they're still there. You may not know everything. If you have family and friends still in the Watchtower organization, and you've mentioned your grievances once, try not to overdo it with the information. You cannot pound something like that into somebody's head. People have to leave when they are ready. Not when you're ready, when they are ready. Like I said, I could not understand how anybody in my congregation was not seeing what I was seeing. To this day, maybe they were. They just chose not to see it at that time. All I knew was at that time, I was ready to leave. Because the thing is, if you pound it in their head too many times, they're going to get hostile, and you will be the villain. And you will be the one that gets your feelings hurt. Because they stuck up for this organization, or they stuck up for this person over you. They did that because you put them in that position. Sometimes, regardless what you're thinking, you got to walk on eggshells when somebody's in a position like that. Because keep in mind, nobody likes to see their friends hurt. But they may be going through pain that you're not even aware of. So even though you may know something that you think they don't, they may know that, and they may know more information that you haven't even thought of. That's why you just got to walk so easy with that. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to bring to your attention. I will talk to you soon. You guys have a good day.